So, welcome back. So, I thought I'd start on the, well, at least sanding down the wings, ready for painting. So, I've got, that's an old one, some wet and dry. I've also got some of these pads, which go on this. This is usually the quickest way of doing it, but, yeah. I'll use some wet and dry as well. This one's not actually too bad. I never usually have the paint flaking off this one, but I have on this one. So this time I've coofed the whole thing in a um, paint stripper. So I'll take all that paint off. Give it, it, you have to leave it on for like an hour. So I'm gonna get on sanding this one down. I've got all this to sand down. Yeah, all right, I'll get on doing that. Shouldn't take too long, hopefully. So there's the face all whipped over. To be quite honest, this one didn't really need a lot. Once a bit of cleaning off, usually I wipe over it. Well, I am going to, with just some white spirit. Just wipe over it, see what it looks like. But to be quite honest, that's not too bad doesn't need to go right down to the metal because it's already got quite a good undercoat so the only bits that are coming off I haven't done the underneath yet but that's only because this sits down where all the dirt is yeah that won't be too bad this one paint stripper still not working on that well actually it is probably a bit there Hopefully it all comes off, if not, yeah, we'll get a way to get it off. Alright, I'm going to do the back of this and see what this looks like. And then this is basically get a bit of a wipe down, ready for some red oxide. Alright, shouldn't be too long. So it's a few days later. That's how far I got with that one. That wing there. Uh, and the other one, it's been sat here for a few days. I've taken all that paint off. It's a bit more that I'll take probably off this. Yeah, like all this stuff wants to come off. But that's, I've had to use the angle grinder and the flappy disc, sandpaper and even paint stripper weren't working on that. But, that one there, that face, that's pretty much ready to be cleaned and sanded. I mean painted, sorry. So I'm gonna start on the bonnet. And the bonnet, I'm just gonna do like I've done that wing. I'm just gonna flatten it down because it's not actually too bad. So I'm gonna get some stuff out. I'm gonna start on that. And then yeah, there's a uh, store to do. and. Uh, still so much to do. Alright, give me a minute. So, gone over this side of the bonnet. Well, both sides, but I haven't done the underneath yet. Gotta still do that. It's not looking too bad. It'll do for painting. And bit I've got to do, I'll end up having to do these probably by hand. I may even take them out actually. And do them. Uh, but other than that, it's not actually looking too bad. I've, uh, these are where the light bracket went and I've completely cleared that so I'll clean that up but I'm just going to weld these back up because the lights aren't going to go back on. So I'll weld, yeah, I'll just throw a tack weld in there, weld them up, clean it off and it'll look like it was never there. Got all these bits and bobs to do, which I'll start on. Yeah. Ah, uh, other than that, I think I'll call it for this one because the weather's going to turn as well, apparently. So we're probably in for some rain this afternoon, which is annoying. Ah, uh, yeah. I'll catch you in the next one. All right. Cheers. Bye. Mm-hmm. <laughs>